OK, on to question number two then. Write down the number 507 in figures. Be careful with this, although it sounds very straightforward. Don't fall into the trap. It says 507. They've missed out the tens. So make sure you just write out 507. OK, B. Write down the value of 4 and the number 9,346. It's obviously going to be that 4 we're looking at. So you would get it right if you wrote 40 or 40 or 4 tens. Any of those will be fine. OK. Last one of 2 is to C, write 6,431 to the nearest thousand. As you can tell, this is going to be a rounding question. So it's the nearest thousand, so we're looking at this number here. So this number here could change or it could stay the same. We always look at the one next to it, the 4 in this case, to see whether that's going to be rounding it up to 7,000 or keeping it to 6,000. OK, so as we can see, it's a 4. Anything 5 and over will go to 7,000. It's not 5, so it's 6,000. On to number 3, then. Work out 50% of 86. You should be able to find 50% um, of anything pretty, uh, pretty straightforwardly. 50% um, is obviously half. So half is easy to find out just by dividing by 2. So 86 divided by 2 is 43. Work out 3 plus 5 multiplied by 2. Now, again, let's look straightforward. You would think if you're going to fall into a trap, you would add the 3 and the 5 to start off with. As some of you might have realised all to do with bod mass. So we must do this part of the calculation first. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. Next one. Write down an estimate of the square root of 60. The square root of 64 equals 8. Therefore, it's close enough to that, so anything between probably about 7.8 to 8 would be fine in the answer. On to question 4. It says, measure the size of the angle marked A. OK, so you might have been taught that it would be a good idea to estimate that angle. OK, just to make sure that it's, um, it's there or thereabouts and using the right scale on the protractor. Let's have a look and see how big it is. Make sure that the angle, that the protractor is exactly on the edge of the point and the line is covered by the line on the protractor. OK, so read, we're reading from this scale because it's, um, that zero has to be on the line up to here and that would be 38 degrees. OK. In the, space, oops, in the space provided, draw a line of length 5 centimetres. Ruler. Pencil, just in case you go wrong. Sharp pencil. 5 centimetres. You can go within 2 millimetres and still get that right. OK. So there's your line of five centimetres.